way, I do want to thank Wolf Lion. I see him in the chat. Over. Take it to the house. I'm about to touch down. Change living levels. Come on, go. Come on, go. Yeah! Welcome to Wolf Lion Sports Talk. I'm your host, Coach Mike Jones, formerly of Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on the Pro YouTube channel. A shout out to my man, Kurt Steele, LL Cool Torrance, Valerie Bordeaux, and the rest of the Proud Nation family. But y'all already know, man, this is from my Michigan Wolverines and my Detroit Lions. Yes, this is Team Wolverine. We got Wolverine Nation, man. But y'all can do me one favor. Like the videos. Share the videos. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on the videos. I love to, I love to, to chat it up with y'all, man. And you know, and, and see what y'all got to say, man, and, and I respond to all comments, um, and if you don't really like to be on a spot like that, or you kind of want to send me a little message privately, man, uh, Wolverine at Wolverine.net, um, and, you know, anything interesting, if you want a topic that you want to talk about or discuss, man, just hit me up, man, Wolverine at Wolverine.net, um, hey, and do me a favor, Go to Wolverine.com. Yes, Wolverine.com and get you one of these. Get you one of them all white Wolverine shirts that's on sale for 10 bucks. And while you're there, stop by the poll. I have a poll up right now about Wolverine products. Which products would you like to see be released next? Do you want to see one, two, three, four, five, six, all of them? So just, you know, uh, comment, man, and um, on that poll, man, and just let me know what it is that y'all want. But let's get into this for the day, man. Uh, so another rumor has come out, um, you know, that the Lions might be looking at a player. And i just like to say, first off, before I start this, the Lions have come a long way. The Lions have come a long way that every player, every free agent is being rumored to be possibly connected to the Detroit Lions. That's never been since I've been uh, a Detroit Lion. And I've been a Detroit Lion since the early 90s, and uh, it, it feels good. But uh, let's jump into this. Wide receiver Corey Davis has been rumored to have struck in some interest with the Detroit Lions. Um, so let me bring Corey Davis up real quick. Uh, Corey Davis is He's he's played six years. He's a six year pro. He's twenty seven. I'm not sure if he'll be twenty eight by the start of the season. But Corey Davis is a big receiver, a big physical receiver. He's six three, two hundred and ten pounds. Um, Corey Davis uh, last played for the New York Jets. Um, he had thirty two catches for five hundred thirty six yards and two touchdowns uh, the season before in two thousand twenty one. He had 34 catches for 492 yards and four touchdowns. Um, so that was a 14.5 uh, catch average. And then last year was a 16.8 yard per catch average. Um, you know what? I'm not against, actually, I'm going to be honest. I'm not against bringing in another wide receiver just because of the Jamison Williams suspension. I know y'all, I know a lot of people are like, oh, just because Jamison Williams is suspended, yeah, because um, it makes a big deal. It makes a big difference because um, we, while I do believe in our rookie class, that suspension makes us rely more on a lot of rookies. That makes us rely more on, on you know, Sam Laporta and, and Jameer Gibbs and, and Antonio or Antoine, man. That just, that's a lot to put on rookies to have to do that. Um Corey Davis is a is a big body receiver, big catch radius. He's a huge man. Um, you know, six three two ten. Um, he was in two thousand twenty one. The New York Jets thought he could be the number one. Um, him coming over from Tennessee, they thought he could be the number one. Um, he's not a number one. He's a big body like a number one, like a uh, Brandon Ayuk type of build. Um, but he uh, he just never really took that next step uh he's more of a complimentary piece i do believe that while the six game suspension is going on we got the kansas city chiefs and the seattle seahawks um i wouldn't mind adding another piece to this core um i know we got marvin jones josh Reynolds, khalif Raymond, and, and, and the crew 
But um, man, just having that one more guy, man, that that you know that would uh, solidify that spot. And I know, you know, James Williams comes back, and you guys are like, what about when he comes back? And it's like, what if he comes back and we're like two and four, or what if he comes back and you know and our offense isn't moving like as smoothly as it would be with him with another receiver on the field. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 for adding another receiver, not necessarily Corey Davis, but I wouldn't mind Corey Davis because he does have the numbers, he does have the you know the potential to be that that big play guy that stretches the field. Um, drop a comment, man. Tell me what you think. Do you like Corey Davis as an addition? Uh, the 6'3", 210-pound receiver, uh, you know, his, his catch his catch radius is pretty good. Uh, you see here his rookie year, 375 yards on 34 catches. His second season, 65 catches for 891 yards. His third season, 43 catches for 601 yards. His I mean, so he, um, I think 2020 was his best year, 65 catches for 984 yards, and that's when he went over to New York, and uh, and then, yeah, so yeah, I mean, he, he's a he's a good receiver. Um, I wouldn't mind adding depth at the linebacker position and the receiver position, because I just, I'm not content with where we are as a roster. I'm happy, I'm confident, but I'm not content, so um yeah, drop a comment in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about uh, adding Corey Davis to the roster. Do you think it's a good pickup? Do you think he's not a good fit? Do you think maybe we have enough? We don't have enough? Uh, yeah, just let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, i love to hear y'all comments, man. But I'm about to get out of here, man. You know how I do it. We're going from the big house to four field. Go blue, one pride. I holla at you. To the house, I'm about to touch down. She's living lavish, so our shit is plushed out. Bellies big, but they full.